Greetings, everyone. Why in the world are we talking about a donut cannon? Let me give you some background. The Warning are a band from Monterrey, Mexico, comprised of three talented sisters, Alejandra, Paulina, and Daniela. All three sisters are extremely accomplished musicians. They also apparently all seem to enjoy tacos. Alejandra has said she very much enjoys snacks. Paulina has shown a particular special aptitude for baking. But the subject of today's video is Daniela. It has been long established that she very much enjoys donuts. In the Warnings fan base, folks are pretty sure that Daniela would love to try and share her donuts with just about anyone. There was some online discussion about how she might be able to distribute these donuts at a concert. A suggestion was offered that perhaps someone could build her a donut cannon. Well, since I'm an engineer by profession, I thought perhaps this might be fun to try. As any good researcher would do, I looked around on the internet to see if anyone had tried this already before. I found this one video from the UK that uses a propellant similar to a potato cannon, but I am quite sure that we do not want to have flammable gases around our food products. At stadiums all over the world, pneumatically powered cannons have been used to shoot t-shirts and hot dogs into the crowd. Mark Rober has done a nice video on the extreme example he put together. Apparently, it is quite common for arborists to use pressurized gas cannons to launch bean bags to string lines over tree branches. The last and perhaps most applicable design I found was a portable cannon used to shoot bananas. There are features from all of these that I decided could be incorporated in this concept. Before we get started on the design and building, we need to figure out the delivery parameters of height and distance. I made some estimations of the interior sizes of the Teatro Metropolitan in Mexico City. My guess is that there was no more than about 25 meters from the stage to the edge of the balcony. I also estimated that the ceiling height was about half that distance. We also made a series of measurements of donuts available to me here locally. Diameter and mass were the important data we needed to collect to size our system. I settled on 100 millimeter diameter and 80 grams as the baseline dimensions we would build to. This entire activity is based upon circular donuts, so I am not at all sure what to do with this one. The challenge with donuts is accelerating the donut with enough force to reach the back of an auditorium, but not so much that the donut breaks apart inside the barrel or in flight. Now there are a variety of potential mechanisms that could be used to accelerate the donuts successfully. Springs, slingshots, trebuchets, railguns, propellants, but I decided to try compressed air. I also decided to use a decades-old munitions technique of using a sabot to take the higher pressure air and transfer that through into the donut. To get started, I went to the local big box store and collected PVC plumbing to put together the prototype. A pressurized side with a large reservoir to keep the pressures low for safety, a valve, a barrel, and a bunch of connecting hardware. I sat down with my CAD system and went about designing a sabot that would fit inside the 100 millimeter or four inch diameter barrel. I then took that design down to my printer and 3D printed a couple sabots to use in our tests. I figured that we would be wanting to make a number of test shots and did not want to use donuts for all of those, so I made a custom surrogate donut based upon the measurements made earlier on the real donuts themselves. The design incorporates a foam ring to keep the shape and enough pinto beans to match the donut mass. This was all sewn into a brightly colored sack for easy downrange identification. Once I had this together, it was time to go into the field for testing. 
we went down to the local community football pitch and set up a small firing range to do our testing. Once it was established that the concept did indeed work, we started developing the pressure range curves with the surrogate donut. The data do have some spread, but there are quite a number of variables that can affect the donut trajectory. Now on to the real thing. We managed to make two launches with real donuts before we had an equipment failure and had to stop. But we certainly showed that this concept can, in fact, use pneumatic power to deliver donuts from the stage out to an audience and have the goods survive the trip. What I am presenting here is a first prototype to show proof of principle. There are certainly a number of improvements if someone wanted to take this idea and properly engineer a more portable, reliable system. What might I do? First, I would design the system out of proper materials. PVC is a convenient and easily available material, but metal or other pressure rated components are much more appropriate for the pressure side. The PVC I used is not pressure rated for gases. Mark Rober's launcher would be a good place to review to start. The system as I built it is approximately 9 kilograms, or 21 pounds. The barrel could be substantially thinned and likely shortened, perhaps made from aluminum or titanium to save significant weight. I think a quick valve could be installed to allow for faster, more reliable activation and quickly reset for multiple shots on one pressure charge. I also think that the pressure tank could be made into a backpack to help with portability. I would also try to design some type of breech loading ability rather than the muzzle loading I used for this prototype. I expect that others will have even more ideas as well. Throughout my career, I have generally built assemblies to show that a concept works. And then I leave the development and refinement to others. I will do so again in this case. If anyone else wants to take the next steps to get Daniela a real portable system that could be used on stage, I say go for it. The concept is sound and donuts can be successfully delivered out of a cannon. I hope you found this little adventure enjoyable. I sure had a great time thinking and testing the idea. I hope to see you in the future at a warning show. 